we're jumping straight into putting the roof on this house. Now, unlike most of the jobs which we are doing ourselves, we've opted to sub this one out to some actual professionals. So while I was at work, the roofers have been knocking this out. Got the underlayment on there. On top of that is the shingles. See them nail them off. You got your starter strip on the edge. And you can see your edge metal right under there. Same thing with the dormers. Uh, this dormer's not done, but starter strip, underlayment. This one's all finished up. All the shingles and under there you can see the edge metal. Beautiful. And when you watch how quickly and efficiently these guys work, it really starts to make sense why we ended up subbing this out. Now we're gonna go over the roof. You can see that it's done in multiple stages. As I mentioned, those main components are the underlayment, starter strip, edge metal, and the actual shingles itself. Here we have a penetration in the roof, a vent, and the cover for the penetration. And here's some detail of the edge metal as it meets the side of the house at the end of the roof. Here's some of the vents. This will vent the air out of the attic. And here's another roof penetration, but with the pipe inside. Here's the curb for our dual pack, which will provide heating and air conditioning. They put this top cap along all of the ridges to finish it off. And this corner looks unfinished as far as the eaves go, but I'm about to explain exactly why. So one important detail on this roof that we didn't finish on purpose for the roof sheeting and all of the V-Rustic for the eaves. It's corners like these where we have overlaps. Now that the roofers are here, it's time for them to finish this up. What's going to happen is the roof material is going to come under where this eave will be over, as you see it here. Um, if we capped this off, they wouldn't get this roof up and over, which would potentially leave a part of this exposed. So yeah, letting them do this corner first and finish that up, then put the rest of these eave pieces on, uh, like we're about to do, and then seal up the top of this, and that will finish up this corner. We have a couple other spots. Here's another spot where we had the same thing going, where the roofers laid their material first to get this watertight, and then came the finishing touches on the top. And as you see, this side of the roof just about finished up. All they have left is this. Looking great, guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and after some more hard work from the roofers, the roof is finished. Look at that. Beautiful. The roof is finally done. Let's check out the second story. Real quick, you can see the dormers. Awesome. And the second story. I gotta take the extra material down, but yeah, this guy's finished. And what baffles me the most about this being done is how different the house now looks compared to the way it started before the roof. Yeah, it's nice to be dried in, but just feeling like the house is on its way to becoming more finished, it's, it's great. And here's that detail on the corner that I was talking about earlier, where we had to run the roof underneath the eaves uh, and then put the eave boards back on top and then roof over everything so there's not a pocket in here where water is going to seep through because of lapping issues. Right now we have everything well, overlapped so it is definitely protected from the elements. And there's the curb for our dual pack as well as one that needs to be worked on a bit down there so that we can have heating and air. All the vents like I showed you earlier. And the roofers did an awesome job on this. As you've seen, we took care of all the sheeting and, and everything else, but as far as the roofing itself, uh, these guys were very professional and they just got to work and knocked it out. It's one of the few things on this build that we're subbing out just because we don't do it every day or it just didn't quite make sense uh, while these roofers were working. We were taking care of other things, other video parts. But yeah, we are very happy with this. And just in time for the weather too. I mean, seriously, the first day that they had this thing all dried in, <laughs> we got some pretty great rain. We've had quite a few days of good rain uh, since being dried in. So it's just a good feeling. 
walking around the house and not seeing drips everywhere.